Hey guys, what's up? My name's Theo. I play middle linebacker for the Hill of Some Hurricanes. That is in the Netherlands. That is in Europe. I play Euroball. Welcome to the channel. Every Monday and Friday, I do football related content. Unless we have a weird game that's on a Saturday, then that Sunday video will be <laughs> the, the thing. All my stuff's a day later. The reason why is that we, typically we have throughout the most of the year, Sunday and Thursday practices. So the day after that, Monday and Friday, very convenient for videos. I do vlog every single day, uh, day in the life sort of stuff. Uh, things have been funky recently, um, but you know, now that winter is coming to an end and spring is on the way, at least it's, it's warmer, if not just the same amount of wetness. I mean, it is the Netherlands after all. And anyways, on the Friday videos, I start out with comment responses on football related content. Uh, it's gonna be definitely like comment response and then we do news and then we go out to practice. Got to think about that one. And then Monday video is a, a daytime practice. So they're usually like, wake up, go to practice, come home, maybe go to eat, depending on how much I recorded at practice. If I can set the camera up and film practice, there's a lot more of that. If there's just about four and after, or maybe a bit during, then whatever. They kind of, that's like day in the life practice, whereas this is a metered scheduled video. <laughs> okay, so moving into comments. Currently, oh, uh, no limit. JT asked, uh, "Are you still playing O line?" I think it would be great. You have the size. Yeah, no, I'm not. Um, I probably do have the size, especially for the Netherlands. Um, and according to Martine, I do have the footwork for it. Uh, I just do not have the passion for it. And there's a a, th a very fine line that I've learned to th make bigger between doing what I want and doing what I'm designed to and yeah like trying to be a corner or a wide rest or a wide out at my thing probably not but like maintaining somewhere in the box is fine don't actually have all that good my footwork's good but I don't actually have much resistance backwards so I would be terrible I mean I could probably train a little bit better for like hamstring stuff, but I've been doing way much more moving forward rather than the off chance of moving backwards. <laughs> My pass drops are pretty bad at middle linebacker, but. Last Thursday's video, Diego's back. Um, hopefully we'll get the linebackers sorted out and stuff. Football uniform suit up, way back, long time ago. What position are you? Currently middle linebacker, uh, was a corner in that one. <laughs> no, not a good idea. Probably says, you. I bet you were fantastic. What school did you play for? I never played for a school. I just semi-pro in Europe. That's how that goes. It was uh, Mr. Lucas 999. Uh, there was a comment on the away game in Belgium, but that is basically someone trying to troll. Uh, I threw a good troll back at it, but you know how that goes. Honestly, the person responded to, some, to Matt Peterborg with, I'm just saying which is always your like sub 14 year old way of trying to, oh, bah, whatever. That's, that's that. I'm just saying. Red Ninja 2002 on the, my old shoulder pads and my new shoulder pads, I com compared them side by side in a video. That was a really interesting concept. Um, where did you get that shirt? Not this one, it's actually a black shirt that says linebacker across it and it functions like you would see linebacker definition, how you pronounce it, yada yada, and then what it is and three examples of it. It's at a French company back in 2019. However, they did not really survive the COVID thing very well. Their shop is still up on Instagram if you can look them up, capsule, K-A-P-S-U-L-E dot or underscore fr things changed a lot with them over 2020 and i was going to order more shirts but that's why i made my own merch shirt for linebacker it's not as good uh, the shirt's a good quality but like the lettering and stuff isn't that good a quality because i have no artistic talent really i have not not even like vi like static image talent i don't know how to arrange text very well <laughs> um I'm, I'm good at like paint by number. Like you give me um, uniform cuts like this, like you can get the shoulder piece and then the 
room here and like a lining and the chest and the numbers and the lining and I'll arrange pretty cool colors for your team like you know blue and yellow uh, and figure some things out based on design and that's like color by number but hmm, <laughs> when it comes down to just looking at a white piece of paper and putting something on it I might as well be like a stick figure <laughs> drawn by it yeah Anyways, yeah, I'm bad. Uh, no Limit JT also asked on yesterday's video. It's not. F it's football related because it's about injuries. When did you break your arm? Well, my arm is not broken. I've never broken my arm. Uh, my shoulder, this one right here, is beyond okay. Um, it was not the best shoulder to begin with, but in Belgium, just really messed it up. And that was Saturday night. So that was the Sunday video. Link up there for that. And so uh, it just, sometimes I've gone so hard at a game and then I can rest a little bit and go till the end and then it's just super sore the next day or practices. But this, I just kept going and going because we had nobody. I'll, I'll talk about that in the news section. But yeah, it just kept to the point where I was like, my, I was walking, yeah, I was walking down the side. I do have a specialist thing next Monday. So we'll figure that one out and get like an x-ray and an ultrasound and figure out if I have nerve problems or something. Hopefully. And then Zachary Latham on the football uniform suit up asks, do you have to wear a cup and have you ever played lineman? I played lineman one game, spent most of the time on my back and we are not required to wear a cup. Some guys do. Uh, I think I've seen a quarterback around here wear one and I know one of our really, really short uh, corners does because the Dutch are really tall and he's <laughs> he's like super short he's like a terror at being like super short and I would love him if he were like also running back because he is squirrely and down low and he works good at a strong safety because they don't really see him down there like he's not like midget short but in comparison to the Dutch which are all over six feet tall yeah, <laughs> and he's like five foot two. You tend to, you tend to kind of. Okay, so moving on to news, we will. The NFL's going crazy. We see so we've already had massive amounts of trading season and let go season. It's still technically going on, but now people are, and we're getting like official retirement things. Um, the the rule change about the NFL playoffs overtime rules. That was pretty controversial last year. Um, it had been controversial multiple times before, but I guess third time's a charm. I guess when you have such an immediate backlash on social media, because um, previously when it when stuff like that happened, it wasn't it. Nobody could get like fired up and like and get themselves into a crazy state. It still sucks that that happens. But it wasn't, eh, like people could blow off steam before it, but now it's like, huh, <laughs> rah, 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 like they were gonna chew down the, anyways. But yeah, Malcolm Jenkins is like retiring. So the overtime rules now for the playoffs, not regular season, just playoffs. Uh, both teams will have an opportunity to possess the ball in overtime in the postseason. If the score is tied at the end, each team has possessed the ball, the next score wins. Um, if the team kicking off to start the overtime period scores a safety on the receiving team's initial position, that team that kicked off is the winner. If the team kicking off to start the overtime period scores a safety on the receiving team's initial position. Weird. I, I guess. I mean, that's kind of hard to do as is, so... I guess it's just, they put it in there as like the clause. Uh, Patriots are signing Jabril Peppers. Saints are signing Andy Dalton. Man, that guy's getting passed around. Mariota's going to the Falcons. Let's see, the draft is officially on April 28th through the 30th, so 30 days until that. Well, as of a couple days ago, anyways. Lots of things. I know there's something about the whole like equality or something. I look into that one. I mean, as a gay player, it probably matters, but I think it's more of a 
base thing is we're not we're not anywhere close to having to needing that level of stuff from you know for gays in the NFL. There's been like two. <laughs> There's probably more gay men playing American football in Europe than there is in the NFL, at least out. <laughs> I mean, currently, right now, all you need is one. <laughs> and until Carl Nassib gets signed to a team. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Okay, so, other news. AFBN, we have some unfortunate news coming out of that. Where's the best place for that? Good iron. Put that out. Iron. We need the AFBN, not the NFL. Okay. So, in terms of the actual Netherlands League, yes, we lost to uh, Lay the Shot Commanders last Sunday. So this. So on the twentieth, we played the Lay the Shot Commanders, and then Saturday we played the Eastham Tribes. And yeah, and in between that was a Thursday. So. Yeah, we lost both those games. We are better. We're, we're, we're getting better, but we're we're really hurting for people. So we're like really strong the first and second quarter. But when you're walking, when you're rocking with like 18 to 20 guys by third quarter, fourth quarter, like I was down at Isahem for probably the last three minutes because the shoulder just I couldn't anymore. Um, and we were even taking turns, and it's not like my shoulder was hot to trot to begin with. Uh, we also have another thing, the Panthers are out. So not only did our first game get postponed because they couldn't secure a field, that postponed game got postponed again because their entire, or most of their team, they couldn't field a team because of way too much corona. Um, and now they've pulled out, so along with Flavo. We went from eight to six teams. I forget how everything is laid out there divisi-wise. They, they'll have that on the actual AFBN website. Okay, so crew, Falcons, Giants, and Panthers. So the Panthers are out for the rest of the season, which means there's only three there, and Flavo dipped out from us, so they're out for the rest of the season. So there's three left in each pool. I'm not sure if that guarantees us going to the playoffs or not. I, I don't know. Um, if we beat Rotterdam twice, uh, we should get that because we're at five games. One, we end up four losses. One against Flavo. But with the Panthers and the Flavo, that's two wins there. And then win twice against Rotterdam, that puts us at five to five. For, depending on what Lele Stott does, but I don't know. I don't know how this season's going. I wish I did. But then I'd need to be way more involved than I actually am. But we are not looking good right now. Plus, our numbers are very, very low. And people are getting injured. I'm injured. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go up against Arnhem. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go up and do stuff on the 10th. I do have 11 days to figure things out. That's that's just weird with that one. So, and how is the BNL going? I have no no idea. We're down at the bottom of the BNL. They keep sharing stuff to Instagram, and we're at the bottom because the few times we've gone up against what crew, uh, we haven't even won in there because our Groninger game got looped in and was a loss, and then the crew beat us, and then. Isaham beat us, and our next opponent for that is Arnhem, and then we have Limburg. Limburg. It's just, it's so awkward. <laughs> Anyways, since this is starting to hurt a bit, let's move on to my shoulder. I don't know what's wrong with it. That's why I'm going to the doctor. But right now, it hurts enough. It hurts a lot. Um, kind of do a recap of that game. Things were going really good, really well. Defense was holding position. Offense was, you know, pushing down the field, making scores, kicking field goals, that weird areas. But anyways, it, it is sort of a, 
try it seems like a trial league they're they're trying to get better i do not know what this is going to do like are the crew and like arnhem going to leave the afbn and move on to the bnl or something like that you know to play other international teams um to be fair last saturday was my first official international game since November 2018, something like that. And that was against a French team and a Romanian team. So at this point, I've now played a French team, a Romanian team, and a Belgian team. I've also played a German team, but that was at a camp and not a really good, meh, and it wasn't a real game game. Um, no, we also played Belgian team, but we weren't in Belgium. They, the Isaham came to us, and that was like the only game we played after the first wave of Corona. Anyways, so... That's what's going on with that. My shoulder is, I, I will update you on regular vlogs. Next Thursday should have more, or next Friday's video should have more information about that. Because, owie, <laughs> I'm, my husband tested positive today. Uh, so thankfully work from home stuff is beneficial, but um, I have since taken the test um, he took his test, it came up positive, I took a test, and it's negative, so just not going to practice tonight, that's, that's why. Um, and then uh, we'll follow protocol for a couple days out um, and figure out what's going on. So we in lockdown, I get to play a lot of World of Warcraft, watch game film from Isachem and Leilistat to see if I can better myself and play a lot of Dawn of Ragnarok on Twitch. Don't ask, I don't play Madden. I just don't. But anyways, I will chat with you guys uh, at least Monday if you watch the football content or you can see how things are turning out with the shoulders by watching daily vlogs.